welcome back everybody. I've got a journal to share with you guys today. Hope everybody's doing okay. Um, this is a design team project for Artie Mays using her B kit. Uh, you guys know um, I've used this kit before and I love it so I wanted to revisit this. Um, so this journal is a six inch by nine. It's a fabric and this is using some of the Tim Holtz uh, material. And then it's a one signature. So <clears throat> on the front, I've just recently um, purchased a, another journal making course. And so I'm trying to incorporate some of the things that I've learned um, from that course um, within this journal. So I've done a lot more layering on the front here. Um, I've got some stitching onto the corrugated cardboard, um, lots of different um, materials, laces, vintage laces included. I'll try to give you a, a close-up of that so that you can see. Um, so going inside, it's one signature. I don't know if I said that. I don't know off the top of my head how many pages, but oh, surprise, surprise. I've used an envelope here. <laughs> I know you guys are probably fed up with seeing these, but I love how this came out because it's actually created um, three pockets because you've got a pocket in the very back and then by stitching down the center I've created two more pockets. And these are some uh, journal cards that I've made using various um, B papers and then um, elements from the Artie Mays kit. So, and these are some of the tabs as well. So, I'll stick that in there. Sorry, I'll have to pull this over here. Because it's a double pocket, I've got to get it down into the one. And then here, um, I've got some brads, and then I've done two other tiny little um, tags that are tucked into this and I love how that's come out. I'm <clears throat> really happy with that. And little by little I'm getting through my stash. <laughs> um, so these are the papers from the kit. Um, it's a really big kit. You get a lot of, I think you get into about 12, 11 or 12 background, uh, page, uh, journal pages. So that's nice. And then here I've taken and printed um, this page out twice, and then I've torn it, inked it, backed it with baking paper so that you've got, you know, the little, the crinkle, and I just like the way that that looks. And then I made a little, this little circle, I've just made a little tuck spot there, and then these are just, um, this is from the kit, this journal card, and then this was from my stash. So those have been tucked in. I've done stenciling. I've hand torn pages. Um, really like it. I think it's. Uh, I've I've been missing working with the bees. So this was a lot of fun to to re to revisit. Um, here I've made a tag with another little tuck spot there, and I've done some stamping um, within this journal as well. Here I've got another tuck spot. This is from the kit, and then just another bit from my um, my own stash. Now these come, um, this journal card comes from the kit. Isn't that beautiful? The B. And these B postcards are part of this kit. So it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is some tracing paper that's been tea dyed. Um, this is another little tab and then I've added this little charm to a bulb pin. So that dangles. Here is one of the tiny um, <clears throat> little envelopes. I have not sealed this one. That way it's extra journaling space. But I just pinned that in. Sorry. All thumbs today.
So we've, we're having some sunshine today, um, clouds kind of in and out, but um, we've had a lot of rain here lately, so it's kind of nice to see. And luckily the temperatures aren't, um, aren't, aren't going up, so I'm very, very happy about that. Um, this is just um, another um, a tag from my kit. This is not part of um, the Artie Mays kit, but I had extra left over and I thought, well, I'd just incorporate everything in here. Now this is um, a page that I've also backed to the baking paper sewn and then created this big pocket here. And then this is another uh, journal card from the kit and this is something I've printed from the internet and it's the Bumblebee Species of Britain. I love that. It's a gorgeous little card. So Lots of writing space. Um, here I've done the tea dyed doily within the baking paper. So I've created two little pockets, um, one on this side of the signature and one on the other. Just tea dyed ledger paper. I love these pages. Here is just another little tuck spot. This is another um, journal card from the kit. And that's been tucked in there. Uh, some cluster. Now this uh, ticket is part of the kit as well. And I've just done a little snippet. So I love how that's come out. This is a bit of handmade paper. I've done some stitching around another journal card from the kit. And that just flips over because I didn't like, I don't like to cut down the handmade paper if I can avoid it because um, it is gorgeous paper. And here's another uh, well, this is the center of the signature, and that's another one of the pages from the kit. So here I have created a belly band, um, vintage buttons with various bits of um, lace for my stash, layered that, stitched it, and then this um, I've created a little booklet with the offcuts from... Um, you know, that are left over, so you've got even more writing space there. So I've just tucked that into the belly band, <clears throat> and this is that handmade paper. Here I've got another big pocket with a couple of journaling cards. This is one from the kit, gorgeous, with the um, lilac and the, the black bee. That is such a pretty combination. Um, here I've got another little tab with uh, a little bell and a bit of lace just onto a bulb pin so you've got that nice little jingle. Another journal card from my stash and then a pocket. I love how this has come out. Uh, I should have known. I stuck that up in there when that was still wet. This is from the internet as well, and then this is just a, a little ticket from my stash. So I'll tuck those in there. You can see there's a lot of writing space here. And torn edges, I've inked along those as well. Here I've created um, just a cluster on that the corner of that page, and then I've done some stenciling behind. And this is just an old button that I've stitched to it. I love how those are coming out. Another journal card from my stash. A bit more stenciling. Just some grid paper that I tea dyed. Another of the tabs from the kit. I think you end up with about uh, 9 or 12 tabs she includes with that, which is really nice. Another image from the internet. And then a couple of more. Now these these are both from the kit, so you get those as well. Like I said, <clears throat> it's a really big kit. And then here I've got another handmade tag, and then I've just created with this was a journal card that I've cut up and just uh, created a couple other little pockets there. Love that. And then here I've just created another tuck spot there. And this is from the kit as well. So, And this was from the, the internet. Isn't it a beautiful bee? And I love that page. So pretty. 
So on the back here, I've created, out of the postcards that come, I've made two pockets out of those. And then tucked in some more journaling cards. And then these tickets are in the kit, so I've just cut those out and included those. And then a couple of more um, journal cards here. Beautiful. So there you go, guys. That is the Bumblebee Journal. It's in my shop, so if you're interested, you can take a look there, and it'll have the specifics on how many pages. Um, but it's a big journal, and like I said, I hope you guys liked it. I hope everybody is having a great week, and I will be back very soon. So take care. Bye.